In this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to answer the review questions at the end of each part. The first question. Describe how the notes look on the music staff. Are they on lines? Spaces. What is the distance between the lines and or spaces? I'm using an example page from Violin Book 1 and we have an octave on top and a third on the bottom. The octave has a line, a note that's sitting on a line, and a note that's sitting on a space. If you just write down line space, that's not enough information because you could also have a space right above that line, in which case that would be a whole step or a half step. So we have to identify which space is this. Well, we have a line, and then you could say something like one, two, three, fourth space up from that line. Line, fourth space up from that line. You could use your own way to write it down. I'm just giving you an idea. Down here on the thirds, we happen to have space, space. The other kind of third is line, line. But it's space, space right above that space. Line, next line up. However you want to describe it. Question number two. Catalog all the fingerings you used in this part. Notice patterns. So you'll go through, let's say you're going to go through part three, and you write down zero, two high, and you'll write down the examples and the numbers from each of the examples. You will have repeated patterns. So don't write the re repetitions down, just write one of each down and you'll, you'll learn from it. I'm not going to show you anything here, but you'll have perhaps open too high, open too low. You might have one low three and so on. The third question. Describe how the interval sounds to you. Use the references to moods descriptions, or songs that you can recognize. Some of the intervals are very dissonant, so they may be described as ugly, strange, sounds like a siren. Chromatics. I've had a lot of students use the words creeping, slithering, scary. Fifths, for example, sound like twinkle, twinkle, perfect fifths, that is. Or Star Wars, you can use the names of songs to describe how an interval sounds to you. There are the three ways that you will be reviewing. The first just how do you see that interval on the staff? The second, noticing the fingerings you do. How does it feel on those fingertips? What are those distances between those two fingers? That's our kinesthetic sense. And the third is how do these intervals sound? Our ear training, developing our listening ear. After you do the three review questions, just go back and play through the whole part, looking at the chart, looking at the music, and just notice all of these things going on. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always contact me.